got to fight him again for the actual title. What do you think about that? I'm just happy to fight for the title. I'm just happy to uh, be able to put my hands on it. So uh, at this point, it won't really matter who I fight. I mean, I get ready. And uh, I'm ready. I stayed ready. So uh, when the day comes, then I'll be able to actually uh, go ahead and do my thing and perform and win the fight. How confident are you going into the next fight? It seems you handled Ariola or Ariola the first time. Do you expect a similar game plan for him, or do you expect something different? I don't care about the first fight. I um, I'm not looking. Uh, I won't be looking at the first fight. Uh, to me, I'll be. I'm going in the ring. Fighting Ariola for the first time, so uh, like I said, uh, I'm not relying on anything I did the first fight. This is a total new fight for me. You win that fight, or the, uh, uh, is Vladimir Klitschko somebody that you think about as an opponent in the near term? <laughs> of course it is, but uh, I got uh, I got uh, Ariola on the way, so my focus is on that right now. Ariola, it's a big fight for you. I mean, you, you, to a lot of boxing fans, maybe you kind of came out of nowhere. How's your life changed just as a fighter and just, you know, around fans? People recognize you, they know who you are. How is that for you? My life didn't change. I mean, I don't think it did. To me, I'm still the same guy. Of course, I get, I get a lot of people that came uh, after this fight. I had a... Uh, more attention to the uh, Is that so, something uh, you like or is it just part of what um, it is? It's part of the game. You know? I mean, I'm okay with it. It all bothers me. Yeah. Fight fans crave heavyweight. They crave heavyweight action. Uh, we're excited that you're here and that you're in the division. Uh, Vermont Silverne for Gels Carson. This is the Boxing Channel. Thanks. Good luck, man. Same point in time, you've been waiting for a title shot for quite some time. Right. So how does it feel to finally have this fight be for the heavyweight title? Great. <laughs> I feel great. I feel, I feel great, man. I've been waiting for so long. Uh, I mean, I always said good things happen to the, ways, to, to the ones that wait. So it's happening right now. Um, I'm just waiting on a date right now. Uh, I've been in camp for the past maybe two, three months. I know, I know you said you're treating this like the first Chris Ariel fight or the first time you're facing him, as opposed to the fact that you already are familiar with him, but you are familiar with him. You know how you can handle his power, and you also know that you can hurt him. Right. But it's, like, like I said, I, the first fight is in the past, and um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to that, into this fight. As if I hurt him or I beat him or whatever. This is a this is a, a brand new fight for me. I'm getting ready for a, a, a different areola, or yeah. the unexpected. So whatever he brings to the table, I'll make sure to handle that. But you expect the same thing to happen. You expect to still be able to hurt him this time, still be able to drop him. No. No? I'm not expecting that. I'll knock him out. Okay. This is that's the only thing that's gonna be different. So um, like I said, man, I mean this is a brand new fight to me. Um, I just can't wait to get it done. I have to bring up the business side. We're talking about boxing, but I have to bring up business. You recently had a suit against Don King and now it's a settlement. What kind of distraction had that been in your career beforehand? None. None of it. Yeah? I mean, uh, I got a strong mind, so, I mean, me and Don only had a couple issues, differences, and then we sat down like grown men and talk it out, and then we're good to go. But the issues were significant enough that you wanted to get away from him. I mean, <laughs> Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened in the past, man, we good now. Everything good. We're all family. What do you expect to be different in your relationship now that you finally sat down and worked out the issues? Great. I mean, he'll, he'll be able to do what he does uh, best, and I'll be able to do what, I do what I do best. And does that mean fighting more often than you were under him? That's, that's, the, that's one of the major ones. Yeah. How difficult is it for you as a fighter wanting to work towards these goals to be on the shelf, to be waiting when you had been inactive like you had been? 
You know what? I, I feel I feel whatever I've been through or, or whatever happened in my career was for this moment to happen right now. So that's how I'm taking it. And so we have this moment, this fight with Chris Ariola. You win this. Does that mean then you face Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury? Do you know what happens after that? Like I said, whatever happened after that, that's what happened after that. I don't really care. Um, my focus is on Ariola right now. So I can't really talk about it. What else do you want fans to know? Man, check it out, man. I'll be uh, about to see a brand new era, a brand new heavyweight. I'm bringing that, 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 that uh, heavyweight attraction back. And uh, I'm ready to go, man. I can't wait. Berman Stavern, BoxingScene.com's David Greisman. Thank you very much.